Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 9. Last time, we went to the diamond mine to try and find out what Jewel Man knows. Unfortunately, he didn't cough up any information for us. So today, we'll be going to a, uh, I'd say a, what a, let me see. We'll be going to face off against the, uh, Robot Master, known as Plug Man. But before we do, I will go ahead and give some information about him, but we're going to be heading to the... Well, we're going to be heading home real quick. Why? Need to stock up on some supplies real fast. Uh, no, I, I don't need an extra life right now, Roll. But, uh, thank you. Uh... First off, need the energy balancer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get three E tanks roll. Oh no, two E E tanks. Uh, I was I was looking at the price for the extra lives. Thanks, Roll. Now, as for Plugman. Plugman. Number DLN 068. Weapon? Plug Ball. Weakness? Jewel Satellite. Hmm, I didn't know Plugman watched anime. Uh, Plugman. Before the robot revolution, Plugman was created by Dr. Light to work in a factory that manufactures television sets. Um, strictly inspecting each unit as it came off the assembly line. When not working in the factory, Plugman enjoyed meeting with friends in Akihabara and talking about geeky subjects. Plugman's main weapon is the plug ball, a ball of plasma that once fired moves forward along along the ground surface. Well, plug man, hopefully you can give us some information about what happened behind this revolution, or else I might have to pull the plug on you. So let's get started. Plug man. Oh, more te I can't believe I have to deal with Tellage right now. Oh, that works. I'll always take, uh, more bolts. And more extra lives, too. I mean, I won't turn them down. Uh, I need the Hornet Chaser. Actually, no. Excuse me. <coughs> All right. Hmm. Ooh. Whoa. That Matsul really seems eager on dropping me off of this uh, stage for some reason. Well, onto those spikes. Gotten that extra life. Oh well. Oh, these things here. Um, once you walk in front of these things, a Mega Man clone will be generated like that. It can be used to generate weapon energy and uh, you know, basically weapon and life and uh, weapon life and uh, bolts. Alright. 
Control satellite is really uh, helpful here. Sweet, got another E tank. And when it comes to these copies, I tend to let them just run right into the uh, jewel satellite. That way, I don't have to really, really worry about them. I'm not gonna pass up any bolts. Probably making a big mistake here, but <laughs> all right. Oh, you again. Oh, perfect. And I was able to restore it completely. Where are you? Time to pull a plug on you, plug man. Yeah, your plug balls don't do anything against my new shield, huh? Um... These plug balls he's firing are somewhat uh, of a homing attack in his uh, use. Why? Because every time he fires it, even though it's running along the ground, if it happens to be on the ceiling and happens to basically be in the, uh, aiming for the vicinity of where Mega Man is, like right above him, it'll drop right down on him. But... Unfortunately, didn't really help him. Mega Man wins. And for winning, Mega Man gets the weapon, Plug Ball. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, 70, uh, hmm, 70 bolts, nice. All right. Well, that was a uh, plug man stage, and he didn't give us any information. So now, next time, Mega Man has to take on his high-flying new brother, Tornado Man. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, make sure you ring the bell to turn on all notifications for my channel, share the video around as it does help grow my channel, and I'd be greatly appreciative of it. If you need more gaming content, feel free to check out the video on the two playlists in the end screen. If you need more gaming content after that, feel free to check out my channel where I upload gaming videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Until next time, everyone. See you later. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. Please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe for more. Later.